I'm building a spaceship that can travel through the galaxy. I need to find a fuel source with immense power. And these scientists may have just what I'm looking for. They've managed to produce a substance that's quite extraordinary. It could be my passport to the stars. Inside this giant underground laboratory at Fermilab outside Chicago, scientists investigate the origins of our universe and what it's made from. It might look like something out of Flash Gordon, but this strange contraption is where it all begins. Electricity is fed into this amplifier and then mixed with subatomic protons. Then at almost the speed of light, the protons are fired round this four-mile tunnel and smashed into a metal plate, exploding them into even smaller subatomic particles. These collisions produce a substance called antimatter. It's the most powerful fuel known to man. And I think it could be just what we need to power my starship. Imagine that this ball represents a particle of matter. It carries an electric charge, either positive or negative. Now, for every particle of matter, there's a twin particle made out of antimatter with the opposite charge. What's exciting is what happens when antimatter collides with matter. An explosion of pure energy. When you use antimatter and it collides with matter, 100% goes into making energy. There's no other fuel in the world that does that. So it completely turns that into. So basically on the order of a gram of matter and a gram of antimatter is on the order of the bomb they dropped at Hiroshima. As a fuel source, antimatter sounds promising. But there's one big drawback. It's a little pricey. The power bill alone is $24,000 trillion an ounce, or about 20,000 times the GMP of the United States to make one ounce of antimatter. 